can't see them. Oh, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I really intended on vlogging today. Yet again, this day did not go the way that I planned. It seems to be happening a lot since I gave birth that the days don't quite go how I thought they would. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, consider this a mom vlog, if you will. I always want to get prepared and pampered and do hair and makeup and look presentable before I get on here. But realistically, um, I know you can as a mom, but I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm still adjusting. I haven't figured out every single day not every day how to get myself ready get him ready and then do the things that we have to do it just kind of feels like i'm always behind trying to catch up and i talked to a few people about that because i think that sometimes what i need to do really realistically is lower my expectation because realistically you just won't be able to get the same amount of things done and it doesn't mean anything negative, you know? Um, I'm still adjusting, but excuse the fan um, thingamajigger, I don't know what it's called, the system, excuse my hair. Um, sister locking in process, talking about that later, not today. Excuse the dryer if you can hear that. Excuse the baby if he wakes up and you hear him. Now let's get into the tea. So, I came in the kitchen. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm pretty sure y'all can hear the dryer, but we'll see. I don't know. Today did not go how I thought it was going to go. So, <laughs> yesterday, let's rewind. Yesterday, um, what even did I do? Oh, my husband and I had to go minister at a church. So, that is what we did. We went to minister at a church with my husband's cousin or my cousin-in-law and it was awesome right it was awesome so we didn't go to our normal church we ministered at that church and then we went to, out to eat well we went to my mom's um for a little bit a few hours and then we went out to eat after that after we went out to eat we came home when we came home i took a nap i took a nap at 5 30 p.m I woke up at 2 a.m. Um, my husband didn't wake me at all. So I woke up at 2 a.m. And I just felt like there was so many things that I needed to do. Because it's the beginning of the week. The house was not clean. There was laundry that needed to be done. Like, my husband didn't have no drawers. Like, my son needed a bath. It was his bath day. There's just so many things. Not to mention that my son was getting circumcised at 7.15 a.m. So, I decide, let me stay up and just clean, um, clean the house, get a good hold on the laundry, because it's Sunday, it's the beginning of the week, how are we going in the week with nothing prepared? Um, I washed up, I took my own shower, or that wouldn't have probably happened, um, how today went, I gave my son a bath um, at some point. This morning, he also could not eat anything for two hours prior to surgery. So I had to time that because with the issues that we're having lately with his eating and digesting and acid reflex and all of these things, um, I was trying to have him eat every two hours a smaller amount versus every three to four hours a larger amount. So just all these things I was trying mind you I am aggressively attempting to pump every two hours I'm trying to increase my supply um, all of these things are going on right it's a mess and but I kind of feel like you know I was prepared for it because I was able to sleep for so long but I've been up since 2 a.m. this morning it's now 5:52 p.m. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. And it was an early, early morning. And we, we um, Eric had to work. So my mom came and got me and the baby. And we went 
to his circumcision. He did well. Everything's cool. He's fussy. I mean, he just got circumcised. Why wouldn't he be? And I'm still trying to be careful with feeding him, you know, just all these things. And obviously, I was so tired, so I took a nap. Um, it's been, what, I probably took a three-hour nap. And he did the same. He's still asleep. And if the night's long, the night's long. I feel bad for my baby, so I'm just letting him sleep. Um, but, you guys, so now I'll back it up again. I'm sorry, my brain. Now I'll back it up again. When we first um got the baby home he was having reflex issues literally from the beginning he's had reflex issues and we've had issues feeding him so what happened was we first got mateo home mateo was eating eating and eating from me just just my breast like crazy the first two days he had an appointment after two days of being home he had already gained weight um so we were thinking okay this is going to be great he's home for three more weeks and Mind you, he had a growth spurt in that time. Like, was eating. Sorry, my voice is raspy. I was asleep. And I decided to vlog because this is just a real day, a real time. But he was just eating and eating and eating, right? So, um, I'm not noticing a difference in my supply. At that point, I didn't have enough information about breastfeeding to know to expect even an uh, increase in my supply. I didn't know that the sucking and the emptying of the breast would tell my body to make more milk. I didn't know that was supposed to be what was happening, but long story short, that was not happening. So we go to a doctor's appointment three weeks after he's been home, um, and they say he has not gained any weight in three weeks, period, period, point blank. Um, so when he first came home after those two days, he was five pounds, seven ounces. You're, for three weeks, he had stayed five pounds and seven ounces. So that created this whole thing mind you this is going to be helpful to people that have premature children my son was premature born six weeks early um that created a whole fiasco so now they he's at the doctor because they want to make sure that he's gaining weight so they send us home with this formula um to they t they're selling me what did they tell me initially um i think initially they said feed him on the breast for 20 to 30 minutes max and then give him two ounces of the formula on top of that and they wanted me to do that for 48 hours and bring him back to to make sure he was able to gain weight like his body you know it was able to gain weight so excuse me so i did i tried to do that actually he actually only got three ounces total of that milk because his stomach was so jacked up it made no sense mind you he already had reflex issues he was already having stomach problems just with the breast milk so that took it to a whole nother level so those two days because of those three ounces were hell for me and my husband like crazy like throwing up and throwing up and throwing up and crying and pushing and farting and and just wanting to nurse but not wanting to nurse he was tired just all of these things so those are crazy mind you my husband has three children so we have them three days out of the week three four and a half um and they got here and we got to tend to them and we're tired as heck you know it's just a lot and um i called them and i was just honest like um you know I think the milk thing is not working. They were like, oh, it's normal for, you know, the stomach to be adjusting, whatever. Um, but they still wanted me to come in that, that same amount of time. Because I was like, I mean, I could start it over. Like, if you give me some different formula, I could redo this two-day thing and see how that works. But I was thinking it was the formula, which it was. Um, that, was a part of the, that was a part of the problem, at least. I'm sorry if it bothers you guys that I'm rocking. Um, I kind of pace a little bit when I speak. So, um, we go back and he has gained weight, um, just off of that little bit and me breastfeeding, he had gained weight. Um, so they were like, okay, you know, we don't have to do any labs, whatever. Keep giving him, oh, they gave me another formula or did they give me it or did my mom suggest it? No, I think my mom suggested a formula to try 
that she tried on my niece because she has really bad stomach issues. So do I, my brother does, a lot of people in my family do. Um, so she tried this formula and we just stayed on that formula. And the formula is that one right there. I have no affiliation with any brands. Y'all gonna have to pay me, just like, you know. Um, so, we stayed on that formula and she said, they said, you know, do the same ratio. And I'm like, I think it's a little bit too much because it was coming out of his mouth like a fountain, you know? And I'm like, mm, I think that's a bit much. I think that breastfeeding for that long and then giving him two ounces is just quite a lot. And they were like, no, it's fine. Um, but they also encouraged me to speak to a lactation consultant from, um, they gave me a list and I chose one from a hospital that my, uh, the, the second hospital that my son was at. Cause in the, when he was in the NICU and where he was born is not the same place where he, where he came home from. They had uh, moved him and they were going to move him again, actually. Um, but they, you know, he came home instead. So I told, I spoke to the last lactation consultant and she's appalled she's like they're telling you to feed him way too much that's the that's the same as if you were eating three big macs every two hours or every three hours it's just too much and she explained to me how much a baby needs um to have how many ounces they need to consume per day to gain the weight that they need to gain per week to be growing the way that they should ratio was too much i figured that which is why i stopped giving him that much prior to even anybody telling me to because I just knew that it was too much and my husband knew we were like nah like that's not that's not it so anyways even with all of that um we still went back again because they wanted to see us again and then they said if if he gains weight again we'll you know kind of let it go we won't do any labs whatever um so gained weight again he was fine we went to the lactation consultant she adjusted the, um, you know, his, my form, his latch, all these things. And we got it right. And she told me that the whole time that I was feeding him, he was probably never full, um, which is why, you know, and he's not like super fussy, but he was, that's why he was fussier when he first came home. Um, he was probably never full. He was probably never emptying my breasts, except initially when he first came home and then he stopped mind you i use nipple shields so it just was a whole thing just a whole thing um but we corrected everything and so i started pumping like she told me to to increase my milk supply which is why we are where we're where we are now but he's still dealing badly with reflex and all of these things so after all of the fiasco of today well, fast forward to today, he had his circumcision. Um, and then after that, my mom took me to, took me and him to breakfast. He's obviously fussy the whole time, but we enjoyed ourselves. Um, and we just kept, you know, tried to just keep him happy. And then we came home and he slept. And I woke up from my nap, guys. And then the doctor called me, or the, my, his doctor's office called me. And I spoke to a different nurse and she told me that I should be taking him to be seen at like an emergency room. Cause I guess what he's doing is not okay. Like, like how much he's throwing up and how it's coming out and all that. So now I'm just getting ready to go to the emergency room. I had to make an appointment to go because I think the emergency room that they're having me go to is like a partner of theirs. So I had to make an appointment it's only six o'clock. The appointment's at eight. So I'm just frazzled a little bit and trying to just prepare my mind. So from this point on, I will just vlog because it got crazy. And this is just how my days go sometimes. Maybe not to this capacity, but I'm gonna get myself together. Obviously you guys just saw my husband. Um, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna nourish my body. I'm gonna drink this water take a vitamin because I didn't take one a day. I need to give him his vitamins. And I'm going to just calm down and woosah and pray and just so I don't feel like I'm going crazy in my brain. Excuse me. My brain is all over the place. At least my house is clean. I'm tired. Pray for you, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry.
sorry y'all i know it's beeping it's a lot going on but this is my jam that will keep you in perfect peace perfect peace if your mind is stayed on me y'all um my mom just went to the gas station um she's coming out now actually but we're about to be on our way we're not yet there um it's nearly eight we've ordered food probably gonna pump in there pretty much straight i told y'all he's in here y'all can never see him pediatric support care okay baby face this is me leaving i'll tell you guys i'm vlogging i'll tell you guys what the doctor said but this is my great mom hey, oh this is like high tech we're leaving now this is mateo this is my shirt he spit on me <laughs> he's a lot calmer than he's been all day long yo You be scaring me sometimes. Why? Because I feel like, what you looking at like that? a long day I did so many things happened to me where are you going I'm gonna turn so you can be more comfortable this boy sheesh long day guys good morning everybody it is 8 30 a.m. the next day um I just wanted to close out the vlog because we had a time last night. Um, I, but let me tell you how my night went. First of all, I didn't get up and pump every two hours. I missed about six hours. Uh, it's okay because it's not like your milk dries up. My baby was with me. I was actually sleeping next to him. Everything's fine. But I still need to focus today on doing pumping every two hours to increase my milk supply. Oh Lord. Secondly, the doctor. The doctor that I saw basically told me, keep going, mama. <laughs> um, he basically told me something that's normal or can be normal, is normally normal. Um, and just sometimes it takes a little while to figure out the right formula. That's what he said. Well, um, formula for him to be able to eat and spit up the least amount. He also is premature, you know? So, even with the projectile stuff, um, just keep going. He did give me a number to call to set an appointment um, at the hospital to have an ultrasound done on his tummy to just assure that, you know, there's nothing going on which he said he doesn't think that there is because he's still gaining weight. Um, but that's what he said. I was all right with that result, I guess. I just guess I'll be sleeping next to my son, making sure he doesn't choke at night until we get over this. It is what it is. 
has to be. Um, other than that, came home, talked to my husband, ate, we both ate, went to sleep. The baby was, oh, yeah, Mateo also didn't go to sleep till one o'clock last night. Him, me and his dad was, were talking, but still, um, he normally sleeps through us talking. He stayed up, he cried, he fussed. And so ever since then, when he actually let himself go to sleep, he's been a lot better. Um, you know, with his circumcision, everything, his pain, he seems a lot better throughout the night. And especially now, um, he just seemed to be hungry, which is his normal for eight o'clock in the morning. So we are grateful. Um, yeah, I don't have any words. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. Um, there are a few things that I could do, but it's going to rain. My windshield wipers are broken and to fix them, I have to make an appointment somewhere and drop my car off. Um, that would be, that might not work today because there's a lot of arranging that needs to be done if I do something like that. So I may just stay home. My house is clean. As I said before, I can find something to do, something to focus on, but Maybe some prayer time, some mindfulness, scripture. We do have prayer tonight, actually. I did want to go to the gym, but I don't know what my mom's doing. She was with me all yesterday. I don't want to call her every single day. I don't know how many of y'all got those moms that just, they'll do anything for their grandchild. Like, I appreciate it, but at the same time, like, I don't be wanting her to feel overwhelmed or, you know? So probably just stay home with my kid today um but i'm gonna close out the vlog good morning to you good night to you wherever you're at if you're a mom keep going you got this you can do it you can figure it out get the rest you need because you can't figure it out if you're on e y'all you're gonna be on e but like on like empty bottom of the barrel e like i stayed up from one to one that is is that 24 hours like or 12. 1, 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. is 12. Yeah, no. A day. I stayed up a whole day. And I got maybe seven hours of sleep, maybe. So I'm still a little behind, obviously, but I feel good. Um, I think as a mom, you get used to like not having a certain amount of rest. You can maneuver off of a certain amount. And to be quite honest, I've never slept through the night anyways. I've always been up every couple hours. Um, just my body just does that. So it's not too bad, but I could sleep again, but he's here, so. And I'll be home today, probably, so I can sleep some more. I have no obligations today. Well, there's a couple, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Praying for you as you pray for me. See you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.